Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Cool Kev and I'm finally back with another banger. And today I'm bringing y'all a special video. This is going to be my first ever rap battle. And we got Cassidy versus Hitman Holla. Now, I don't know if y'all been paying attention or not, but Cassidy just had a rap battle with Hitman Holla on the League RBE, which is Red Breed Entertainment. And, you know, I heard it was lit. You know, they finally dropped it today. I didn't see it when it was live. A lot of people, you know, had who they had, you know, winning. Some said cast. I seen a lot more cast than I seen Hitman. But, you know, you got to judge it yourself. You got to see it yourself. So, I'm going to go ahead and react to the battle. I'm going to choose who won. And then I'm going to just do it based off the rounds. So, for me personally, when I listen to these or watch these rap battles, because I'm a big fan of them, you know, I like to see who's more aggressive, who's saying the most slickest lines. I think that's what it comes down for me. I don't care about how much money you got, how much swag you got, how much girls you had. None of that matters to me. It's all about who's saying the most effective lines that hurt the other, you know, rapper or whatever. And I love, you know, diss tracks or just rappers going at it competitive. You know, I'm an ultra competitive person. So I like seeing people compete and trying to go against each other. Now, I ain't dropped a video in a while, so it was only right to come back. And, you know, do this one. They just dropped it not too long ago. And I'm going to react to it. So, it's time to get back on my grind, y'all. Let's see what it's about. Let's see what we got. Cassidy versus Hitman. Both of them is, you know, Cassidy is one of the legendary MCs. You know, Cassidy, you know, he a legend in the game. I think he a legend in hip-hop. And Hitman, I think he a legend in, you know, rap battle. And both of them, are, you know, I'm a fan of both. So, you know, I ain't going to be biased. I ain't going to be... Just choosing somebody because I like this person or that person. Whoever I think won based off of what I hear is how I'm going to determine it. A lot of people be biased and they scared to say their favorite, you know, rappers has lost the battle or whatever the case may be. But enough talking. Let's jump right into it. Hitman versus Cassie. Let's see what we got. Let's go, man. Let's go. Do I got to skip any of this? I ain't watching no cuts. I was trying to check his tip before he came in. Yeah. Niggas called my phone like holla. They saying Cassidy that calico here is rounds for you. I'm like, so? Like that's gonna save him. <laughs> but at the face off, I was gonna let him hear rounds from my calico. <laughs> I was returning the favor. All right, you know, he's starting off aggressive. He got the crowd. You know, they got a big crowd in there too, so. It's gonna be lit. You know, he's starting off aggressive so far. I like the energy. Let's see what you got here, man. You're going first. Why? Why we? Why we? I was returning the favor. Why we even compare? Why we even compare name to name? I've been surpassed his. And then some, who y'all prefer? The nigga that's gonna sell a fight or the nigga that's gonna end the fight when you get in the Now, one thing about Hitman is he more of a performer, you know, battler. So it's like when he rap, he kind of perform his raps more than you know, being super lyrical. I think Cassidy is more the super lyrical type and a lot of people be saying like, you know, Cassidy's style is boring or outdated or 
I don't know. I don't get it though. I feel like if they step in Cassidy world, none of them can compete with him. Outdated, dated, whatever you want to say, none of them can jump on a song and have a better verse than Cassidy. None of them. So he's coming to their world and you know competing with them at what they do. They can't do the same. So that's why you got to give Cassidy more props. But at the same time, I just feel like I don't know. It's gonna be an interesting battle though. He's starting off with the energy after the face off. If y'all ain't see the face off, you know Hitman was like super mad about that face off. So that's probably why he came in super aggressive like that. Yeah, hey, yeah, yo, your house got foreclosed. Your cars got repo. Those are facts. So I don't want to hear all this big money shit like you be hustling. Matter of fact, if you say one thing on like tonight, I'm going to be petty and buy your publishing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, hey, look at him. Hey, look at him. I own my publisher. Then why you getting all worked up? I mean, if you broke and you own your publisher, well, thanks for confirming your catalog ain't really worth much. This shit is so depressing. Your son got to wake up on Christmas to no presents. Arsenal had the nerve to pocket check you. For fucking what? It haven't been a dollar in those jeans since 07. Do, do really a, listen, do really, listen, do really a bum. Nigga, is you silly or dumb? You went from begging bitches to come to my hotel to living in one. Man, I ain't never... Fucking come up here. I like how you did the play on the, you know, coming to my hotel. That was one of Cassidy, you know, biggest song. That might be Cassidy's biggest song with R. Kelly. So he said you went from telling girls come to my hotel to living in one. I'm sure Cassidy don't really live in a hotel, but that's just a good play on words. I like that. It's really a bum. Nigga, it's you silly or dumb. You went from begging bitches to come to my hotel to living in Man, I ain't never backed down from shit. I got heart, you know, the 40, now to open the act when it start the show. High speed chase, I'm on them. I do my cardio, shooting while the whip's still spinning. It's Super Mario. <laughs> Alright. Now, in this line, you know, he said, let me run it back. I make sure I don't confuse you. Hold on. We gotta run that back real quick. You went from begging bitches to come to my hotel to living in. Man, I ain't never backed down from shit. I got heart, you know, the 40. Now to open the act when it start the show. High speed chase, I'm on them. I do my cardio. Shooting while the whip's still spinning. It's Super Mario. Now, for all my Nintendo fans out there, he's talking about Mario Kart. So I think he kind of messed up that line by saying the wrong game, but he meant Mario Kart. But you, if you, if you a Mario fan, you understand like what he was trying to do with it. You know the line is cool. You know it was a, it's a, it's a little slick. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little slick. But he did say the wrong game though. I got heart, you know, the 40, now to open the act when it start the show. The 40, now to open the act when it start the show. High speed chase, I'm on them. I do my cardio, high, high speed chase, I'm on them. I do my cardio, shooting while the whip's still spinning. It's super shoot, shoot, shooting while the whip's still spinning. It's super Mario. Only thing I want to say is this crowd is going crazy for that, and that wasn't even like that wasn't even nothing crazy. Like, I mean, it was cool. He said the wrong game, and they really reacting like 
that was just like something crazy that they never heard before. But, you know, I like it. But let's see what he got. The shit, the shit, the shit that you say in your raps get you booed every battle. How dare y'all compare it to mine? But don't Barry remind us of Sanders? Cause his whole career, he been known for having terrible lines. In every category, I'm better. I do it more, Cash. And my delivery price chicken and door dash. You really think you fucking with it? In every category, I'm better. I do it more, Cass. And my delivery price sicker than door that. You really think you fucking with hit me? And you sure, Cass? Diz, goods, arse, me? How the fuck you gonna weather the storm? I'm just judging off your last four, Cass. <laughs> that was hard. He was like, how you, what do he say? He said something, how you gonna weather the storm? I'm just judging you by your last forecast, like the forecast, the weather. I like to play on words with that one. That was slick. Yo, yo. I'm just judging off your last forecast. I seen that movie. Wasn't you a part of that next day or cast? Coincidence, cause my homies are shoot your hype man and then next they are cast. My passion grows. Sorry I gotta crash your goals. You a movie star? Well when they see the way I cook them tonight, it'll be the last time they ever give cast a roll. You better watch. You better See the way I cook you tonight, it'll be the last time they ever give castle. You better watch what you say in your raps. Know what I mean, Cass? Cause you can catch a bullet behind those lines like a screen pass. The straps hang off of the arm like a Celine bag. And I can box this right hand a lean cast. I take them back to the early 2000s when I put them to sleep and I dream cast. <laughs> That was slick. That was a little setup for his Dreamcast line. I put him to sleep and watch him Dreamcast. Play on words with his name and the Dreamcast, the old console. I remember them days, man. Dreamcast was lit. Shout out to y'all whoever owned one. I like that, hey, man. He got the energy right now. It's like nothing super crazy, but it's slick. Some tough lines. I like them. Take him back to the early 2000s when I put him to sleep. Not dream, Cass. I'm a crocodile. They say I'm the best soon as I jot it down. What sense do this make? How you bragging on some shit that you had to a nigga that got it now? You out of bounds, living off your man name like you popped a Ruger, knowing damn well you been sinners in Philadelphia, Cass. You was not the. Hey, y'all know when a dog get. Y'all know when a dog get neutered. Another word for that is cash straight. How ironic, cause your Philly for the right price, I get rid of this nut if the cash straight pause. Wait, didn't you get caught fucking with trannies? We don't even know if cash straight. <laughs> Another word for that is cash straight. How ironic, 
Cause your Philly for the right price, I get rid of this nut. If the cash straight pause, then you get caught fucking with trannies. We don't even know I'm cash straight. What? I'm losing you? Or oh, I forgot he delusional. That's a cash straight. I ain't with that. I ain't with the internet beef. Don't want police knowing. I'm a wolf, ain't worried about where the sheep going. All I know is war. I don't stop, I keep going. I shoot his past at his funeral. Man, what'd he do? Shit, I just made a vow to kill every nigga that stand by him uh, and speak for him. Uh, can you can you stop acting like you're doing me a favor? Do I seem rattled? This idiot don't even know. He telling Freddie it's his dream battle. Uh, to me, battle rap and street shit are alike, and you would not make it about one. So whether I'm standing in front of the body or on top of the body, it's the same outcome. I get physical where I'm from. You too little and frail. I'm Steph Curry. Not because I 30 all y'all favorite rappers, but mostly because my little brother, a shooter as well. And I'll pop something. Shout out to my boy Steph and Steph Curry. You know, they both shooters out there. You know, Steph. You know, the, the legend, his brother still making a name for himself, kind of, you know, shout out to the Curry brothers. I said, I get physical around her. You too little and frail. I'm Steph Curry. Not because I 30 all y'all favorite rappers, but mostly because my little brother, a shooter as well. And I pot shot nice. He reminds us of Dale. Pump to your mouth. You asthmatic? It don't matter. Because either way, I'm going to see you in hell. <laughs> battle, hey, ba battle rap. Battle rap, boy, you wouldn't win a debate. The type of legacy I got you don't get by mistake. Man, don't let them amp you up to get you hit in your face. Second half, the John Lobby ain't gonna fit in the safe. Talking money, to me, it's a legitimate mistake. My next crib, I'm your baby, shouldn't be in the States. Man, if Cass get me mad, get on the wake before the next question asks is, do you think he'll wake? <laughs> It's gonna be a body tonight. Somebody better call the authorities. First round down. You better pray to God I ain't got two more of these. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Hitman. First round. He came with aggression. A couple of slick lines. You know, he was just he was talking to Cass. Now we're gonna see how Cass gonna bounce back. I think Cass about to go up next. Well, of course he's about to go up next, obviously. Let's see what he got for his first round. Let's go, Cass! Yeah! The hustler, baby. I said, fuck who you brung with you. I could fit a hundred shells in one pistol. You should run, and whoever run with you should run with you. You rap about guns all the time in your bars. I get time behind bars, cause that's where the gun get you. <laughs> Bitch, you ran and grabbed your bag like you had a gun with you. But you ain't clap a shot when them collie niggas snatched your watch. I bear cans, but they not Coronas. I'm talking about the gats I got. I stay strapped and my ratchet pop. And before they tried to stop Corona, I was wearing masks, giving niggas six feet when they casket drop. I said, bitch, you could get robbed for the cash you got, but I tell my squad, don't crawl or spill milk, just grab a mop. And the safe where I stash the guap is running out of space like an astronaut. Stay in your lane, forget I cop, get pulled like a traffic stop. Bitch, you rather shoot it out or rather the box. If it's a confrontation, get hit with a combination like a master lock. <laughs> That whole scheme, he just, nah, we running that back. Get hit with a combination like a master lot. 
My man put out the WWE moves on him. You could get robbed for the cash you got, but I tell my squad, don't crawl but spill milk, just grab a mop. And the safe where I stash the guap is running out of space like an astronaut. Stay in your lane for gats I cop, get pulled like a traffic stop. Bitch, you rather shoot it out or rather the box if it's a confrontation, get hit with a combination like a master lock. <laughs> but you had it in your bag? Hey, he talking about in the face off when Hitman was saying, he gonna air the whole place out. He had his bag, or he's supposed to have all his guns in his bag, or something like that. So he just making light of the situation. I told this nigga Reed had it in the car, but you had it in your bag. You must have gave your imaginary friend a bag. Cause when you had to run to go get it, it could have ended bad. You been a fag, been a bitch, a scary guy. You not top tier cause you left out of there and cried. Look at you, emotional. You know you not prepared to die, so shut up. I don't need your two cents, I need your ears and eyes. You was trying to make it out of there alive. No, the crowd is asleep. The crowd is asleep. That's because it went over their head, yo. He said, I don't need your two cents. I just need your ears and eyes. Man, what? Run that back. Been a bitch, a scary guy. You not top tier because you left out of there and cried. Look at you, emotional. You know you're not prepared to die, so shut up. I don't need your two cents. I need your ears and eyes. You was trying to make it out of there alive. This crowd ain't smart enough for him. That should have shut the whole building down. But they don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about the body and the senses. And Come on, man. Punching on niggas, I'm like, where was I? <laughs> then you was like, <laughs> where the fuck was I? We known for punching on niggas. This nigga said he known for punching on niggas. I'm like, where was I? Then he was like. Oh, Paul Wu, you can Google me. Y'all ain't hear this, guy? It's clear that I'll be getting under your skin. Life a bitch, but you pussy like what's in between a pair of thighs. Mm. I left out, you stayed there inside because you scared the ride. To get shit clarified, let's play swear to God. <laughs> let's play swear to God. Glasses off. 
off, y'all. Pussy. Swear to God you really had a gas stash in that black bag and you was gonna let your gas blast and go to war with Cass. Pussy. Swear to God you wasn't mad scared. You pussy, get a pap smear. If you really bought a gas there, you should have wore the bag. Pussy. Swear to God, before you had your first smack event, you ain't running to me by accident before my crash. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This crowd is asleep. What did he say? He said, swear to God, you ain't running to me by accident before my crash. Yo, like... That thinking level is too high for this crowd, yo. But I caught it, Cass. I'm paying attention. That was too hard. For those who don't know, Cassidy was in a, you know, car crash. And that's what he mean by the accident. And he's basically saying before that car crash happened, Hitman Holler, I guess, met him somewhere before. Before that happened. Like way back in the past, Hitman met him before. Is what I'm what I'm assuming. So, that's too hard, though. Pussy! Swear to God, before you had your first smack event, you ain't running to me by accident before my crash. Pussy! Swear to God, back in the days, you ain't see me at a concert backstage. And ask, can you have my autograph? <laughs> Swear to God, nigga. Swear to God. What's wrong with this nigga, man? Give me some water. I'm sure his ass won't make a confession, but they can tell by your facial expression is not a lie. You can't ignore the past. Before your ass got smack involved, you was playing basketball on the ground balling. So I signed your Spalding. I ain't had time for talking. <laughs> signed this nigga Spalding. Hey, I don't know if it was true or not, but that's fun. Like, just imagine. Hitman playing basketball whenever he played basketball. And you ask Cassidy to sign your, your basketball. Like, Cassidy not even a basketball player. So, why you got him signing your basketball as if, like... So, if it's true, that's crazy. But that's kind of not fair because, you know, a lot of these battle rappers look up to Cassidy. So, it's just like... I don't know why they don't give him the props they supposed to give him. But it's just it's just funny. Let's keep it going, though. My man said, I signed to Spalding. They got me battling a nigga that I signed the autograph for. I ain't had time for talking and going to the league is tough. So after I signed your basketball, I said, keep it up. <laughs> but instead of lacing sneakers up, I was keeping them heaters up. My team only came to a game to shoot the bleachers up. You trying to keep it secret, but I made you want to battle rap. And go from bouncing balls to counting balls trying to battle cats. I had the track. I carried rock everywhere I traveled at. Previously, like in all the cast battles, like I feel like this one, he his approach is like I'm gonna make y'all put some respect on my name. Like he got that, I don't know, just like that 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 veteran, just like that that tiger in his heart right now. Like he just trying to kill something. It's crazy, man. He's saying some crazy stuff. This crowd don't even belong there. Like the stuff he's saying is just going over their heads completely. I 
I've been a shooter to be technical, I shoot back to back. But cats were smacking your ass. You took it behind your back like a magic pass. And your faggot bag, that's a fact. And I know you fiending to run back to smack. Cause you a smack rapper. I smack rappers and have smacked the track. When you rap your rap, if I'm looking in your face, it's cause I'm fucking looking for a place to clap the ratchet at. Coaches had your back. You could have been in the NBA. Instead of Beasley House with your name on the NDA. This shit is death for this nigga. We about to die tonight. And this my lightest round. This shit light. Yo, Cass is really talking to this. Mm. That's crazy. Anyway, I was getting paper back then and thought this little Kevin Garnett face ass might can make it happen. I'm reminiscing, but listen to what I'm saying, y'all. I'm the reason he stopped playing ball and put his faith in rapping. I'll pop a slug, you can't stop the blood with no paper napkins. Bust the steel, then your blood is filled. Shit, mistakes can happen. Look at his face, he capping, I ain't stupid. Wet up your clothes with a big nose, it ain't mucus. This thought I got from St. Louis, gave the whole crew head. I probably fuck more bitches from St. Louis than you did. I still remember when Bill Collector not grew big. But fuck your little brother, bitch. If I get hit, man, I want you dead. Your crew dead. If I go in my bag like you did, blah, I ate this bitch out. And that's on my two kids. Truth is, this not going to go your way. Why would RBE put an artist like me against his protege? Shells blow under the elbow how you hold the K. And if you take the clips together, once you flip them over, you can reload the K. How many ballers went pro you play? I'd rather play in the G League than that wild and out role you play. But hey, 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 hey. Swear to God. Swear to God when I came on Wildin' Out, you weren't playing me close like my hype man the whole time I was up there. When I performed at the end hit, man, you was dancing, singing the words like a big fan. This shit ain't even the fuck fair. Just hilarious and all them other chicks, man, was on my dick, man. When I performed hit after hit, man, it was like this man wasn't even the fuck there. And swear to God, you don't get a thousand dollars an episode, so it'll take you like 10 seasons to make what I got to come to fuck here. I stepped it up, so when I walk up, stairs. Before they debated if I'm the greatest, but now that shit is the fuck clear. Bitch, if it's up, then it's stuck here. You hear me, clown? You try to stare me down, you can meet the man upstairs. It's like you might know how to fight, but who the fuck cares? Get cut head and get a ball head. Y'all seen too much head. My bro been locked up for years and don't expect parole, but told me to bar you to death, so God bless your soul. Bars. Alright, that was the end of round one. You know, they both went. Hitman round was cool. Cassie round was amazing. I feel like Cass had the way more better punches. I think he punched like every chance he get. Like he just boom, boom. You know, it's like Hitman came with a couple jabs, couple haymakers. Cass is just knocking his head off every chance he get. Both their first rounds was good so far. I think Cassidy, Cassidy definitely got round one.
definitely got round one. He said more, had more haymakers, just more like, it was just more content. You know, Hitman was performing more, just more performance. Like, he ain't really had like nothing super crazy. But round two, let's go. So I'm gonna give round one to cast. Let's see what we got. We're going to round two now. Bring up the face off. You was talking all that just to show that you are. But didn't I tell this nigga come outside? But I forgot he was in protective custody. Should have known he was going to go to the yard. Man, don't let them niggas fool you, Cass. I am hip hop. You talking wild and out, man. Battle ain't got me this spot. Big glocks make me mad. I let a clip drop. Big girl, show me the ropes. Think I'm a slip? Not. I'm big time on some. Let me cook. I'm big time on somebody beach and some flip flops. Your bitch, the type I choke and tell her don't let a drip drop. I'm this. I'm this hot. Got your level. I jump six slots. I punch you in your shit. This league gonna need six mops. I catch mine and traffic for real. I don't diss ops, bitch. What I got in store ain't at a gift shop. Y'all love to critique my raps. I don't be saying much. Critique my contract instead. I bet they paying much. Quit saying such. Let me cook. Quit saying such. Hitman holler. Mr. Man what? You and Jack can split this profit. Don't get your man's cut. <laughs> Don't worry about who I- Yeah, they gon' catch on, they gon' catch on. They gon' catch on. I say you and Jag can split this profit, don't get your mans cut. Don't worry about who I cooked in the past. It's your time to die. And stop comparing me to the pins in battle rap. Cause all them niggas got a nine to five. I get even where I'm from, so Barry better stay with the odds. Headshot, boy, I let him bow down in his temple. Cash, you better pray to your God. All that, all that tough talk, little nigga, don't make another sound. Swear to I get even where I'm from, cause you better stay with the odds, headshot, boy I let a bow down in your temple, Cass better pray to your God, man all that tough talk little nigga, don't make another sound, Twitter fingers, a keyboard, the only time you ever touch the pow, the internet thug, he the type to act hard, what a fucking clown, sneak dissing, man don't you know taking that subway, Ain't gonna do nothing but leave you underground. It's like Lil, no, let me cook. No, no, let me cook. Don't you know taking that subway ain't gonna do nothing but leave you underground? It's like Lil Way. Hold that. Bow. I just came to put something down. That's crazy. I really came up from nothing, my nigga. Need a type to act hard. What a fucking clown. Sneak dissing. Don't you know taking that subway ain't gonna do nothing but leave you underground? It's like railway. Hold that. Bow. I just came to put something down. I really came up from nothing, my nigga. Come on, bro. I really came up from nothing, my nigga. I'm supposed to brag. You was on the block in the 90s. Okay, Oster Tag. Chill for they carry you out. That's a goosey bag. Let me get him, y'all. Come on, bro. I was crying, I know. They gon' get it. Yeah. I really came up from nothing, my nigga. I'm supposed to brag. You was on the block in the 90s. Okay, Oster Tag, chill for they carry you out. That's a grocery bag. Don't make me put this arm up, nigga. I give a toast to cash. Top battle rappers today, and you close to last. No drive behind that wheel. You were supposed to crash. That boy got hot as shit in the... I'ma get him. I'ma... Nah, I don't need it. That was disrespectful. You were supposed to crash. Crazy disrespectful. I like that one though. 
Really came up from nothing. I'm supposed to brag. You was on the block in the 90s. Okay, Oster Tag. Chill for they carry you out. That's a grocery bag. Don't make me put this arm up, nigga. I give a toast to cash. Top battle rappers today. And you close to last. No drive behind that wheel. You were supposed to. They booed the hottest shit in the world. You wrote the trash. Blade give you a permanent smile. And it make the joker mad. Do it look like I'm fucking laughing. I ain't with the funny business. ARP. Why you send this nigga on this dummy mission? All the fans be like, hit man, get back in your bag. I can't, y'all. Too much money in it. Chill. For the... I... Chill. Yeah. 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 Get back in your bag. I can't, y'all. Too much money in it. Chill. Why you throwing me shade? That's palm trees. Just tighten up before I pull from the waist. That's drawstrings. I'm a hustler. I got it out the mud like Swamp Thing. I made something out of nothing like my offspring. I'm a cook. I'm a cook. I'm a cook. I don't need it. I don't need it. Say I got it out the mud like Swamp Thing. I made some out of nothing like my horse. What you five, five, 105 pounds? Man, if y'all don't throw me the ball for this shack attack. Uppercut, hook, uppercut. I bet he flipped like an acrobat. I leave bullets stuck in your head. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Yo, why did Cassidy just shadow box or what was that? Like, that was too funny. It's funny Cassidy even played a part of that. That man is hilarious, yo. Hold up. I need it. I don't need it. I got it out the mud like Swamp Thing. I made some out of nothing like my horse. What you five, five, 105 pounds? Man, if y'all don't throw me the ball for this shack attack. Uppercut, hook, uppercut. I bet he flipped like an acrobat. I leave bullets stuck in your head. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Uppercut, uppercut, oh hook. I God. bet he flipped like an acrobat. I leave bullets stuck in your head. Now keep that in mind. I'm gonna get back to that. They, the gun connect called and said holler. I'm about to feed the block. What you want? I told him pose. I need that eagle off top. Cash, what the fuck? Cash, where the fuck you been? I'm a star these days. Busy schedule, I had to smuggle you in. I can't rap, then why none of them win? I created the style and battle rap that you struggling in. You won't cook, I'm a cook. Watch me work, watch me Fuck you been. I'ma start these days. Busy schedule, I had to smuggle you in. I can't rap, then why none of them win? I created the style and battle rap that you struggling in. You on coke and you broke. I'm doing them bad, man. You a hoe. And the jokes, you do it for laughs. Your boy caught a murder for you. And you couldn't shoot him no cash. Man, I should stand on top of cash with the AR. I'ma do it for Al. Hitman round two is done, so Cash about to go up. Um, I think Hitman first was a lot better than his second. He kind of had a lot of filler for his, you know, his second round. A couple cool lines. It wasn't as slick as the first one, but you know, I it was it was kind of average. His second round was kind of average. It wasn't really, wasn't nothing special for him. Like he ain't really have like no haymaker in this round at all. I don't, I don't think I can remember anything that was like 
crazy, crazy. But Cassidy up next. Let's see what he got. Oh, I gotta talk to this nigga, man. He came on the stage to play. He say he represent the culture. He playing. That shit sound like a mixtape verse or something. This shit about to get personal. Listen to this. Stop it. Listen. Off rap, I was balling. While you were still trying to make the starting five. I did shit with Fab, Kiss, Nas, Game, and Wayne before the card of five. This all a facade. All your balls falsified. But when you bought them fake teeth, you should have got a smaller size. Do you believe? He starts smiling, cause we all realize he's sweet. But I don't think them fake teeth can rock. You ever read the little red Riding hood? Well, keep the plot. A real blood? Wear a little red riding in the hood. But you look like the big bad wolf. What big teeth you got? <laughs> Wait. Don't. Wait. Nah, this crowd. Nah. I told this nigga. This crowd tripping now. They just, I don't know, they bored or something, but they definitely tripping. That was hard. Wait. Donate one of your fake teeth to DNA. Cause if I burn your body up, man, they can't use your fake teeth for DNA. Hey, sh sh shut your mouth up, nigga. Them damn teeth so big, I still see them when your mouth shut, nigga. A headshot to lift your scalp up, nigga. If you a hit man, go holla at whoever fucked your mouth up, nigga. I'm prepared for the trouble. I ain't scared of a tussle. I could leave here with some of your veneers in my knuckles. You should have came here in your duffel. The contract say no contact, but who cares? I snuff you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck your damn mother, your dad, your damn brother, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, and grandmothers. I'll let the grand watch me top your grandpa. Then fuck your baby mom on the ground while the fans watch. Talk to him, Cash. Come on, Hitman, stop. You just a battle rapper, face it. I got plaques on my wall. You got battle rapper faces. Gay <laughs> <Yay> shit. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Hold up, wait. Yo, I'm gonna I'm play it back, hold on. Make sure I heard this right. You just a battle rapper, face it. I got plaques on my wall. You got battle rapper faces. This crowd is tripping. That right there is crazy. He's saying, yo, I got plaques on my walls and you putting up battle rapper faces. Your accomplishments are people in you know your field my accomplishments on my wall are you know legendary stuff that went down in history gay shit <laughs> hold up hold up hold up wait so that mean you and your bay pop while you staring at t rock and all you see is clip space while you getting your dick ate Pause. That shit weird. It don't sound natural. How you get top with a bunch of battle rappers looking down at you? What type of gay shit is that? In the crib you live in that? You only got men on your wall. Where all the women at? <laughs> I've been constructed and you a decent height. But if my fists fly, then they all gonna connect like the cheapest flight. You fooling the people. You don't live in a legal life. A Iceman, a Al Capone, a Bugsy Seagull life. They was real hitmen. Famous for taking people's life. We're not that. We're not that. We're not that. 
Listen, you fooling the people. You don't live in the legal life. A Ice Man, a Al Capone, a Bugsy Siegel life. They was real hitmen. Famous for taking people life. You shoot basketballs, battle rap, and go on casting calls. You ass a fraud. Name somebody you shot. If you a hitman, holla how many bodies you got. <laughs> Do you got a body or not? Obviously not. Yo, I need to know what type of hitman is this. This man a bitch. But this some shit you can't forget. You getting robbed outside that burger spot when you stopped and watched Los Angeles. And nigga, don't lie, because they told me you got robbed in your ride while you was waiting outside for your sandwiches. <laughs> And there's some shit you can't admit, but hit man, you lame. They told me, they took your fake rolling and Nick Cannon chain. And you ain't go and grab your Nick bag and let no cannon bang. The man who got your shit never got hit, but hit man, your name? I can't explain how I know but I know what's up. I'm so dope, sometimes I slow it up so y'all can sober up. It's, yeah. Yeah. You trying to soldier up, but your little brother protecting you. When he was playing catch with you, I was in the correctional. Hitman. <laughs> I been knew you were soft, but I lost our respect for you. When Verb told your pop how to talk when he addressing you. Yo, Big Joe! Yes, sir! That's how you talk to your son. That was unacceptable. It looked bad for you and your dad when Verb lectured you. When Arsenal grabbed me, I tried to keep it professional. But tonight, I wish a motherfucker would. And I heard the brotherhood, a bunch of brothers from the hood having sex with you. Is you a homosexual or not? I guess it's true. Hold on. I guess it's true. Is y'all lovers and all? That's what I heard. And that's word to my mother-in-law. I be pushing that fucking raw like no rubbers at all. Y'all might think that's kind dumb, but my sons never suffered at all. Dog, tonight I'm getting paid more. So what you standing on this stage for? You need to give your mother a call. But don't get your fucking brother involved, cause if I break his fucking jaw, you ain't got no other brothers to call. He probably get the undercovers a call, but get the snitch, then the switch from your brother to your brother-in-law. You and your brother a fraud. Don't get gas, brother. The stick will rip your brother in half, then he'll be your half brother. <laughs> what? This crowd is trash. Like, yo, they not even listening. Like, it's no way. It's no way. He said a whole lot more than Hitman in, in round two. But. This crowd, they, I don't know, like, I, they just gotta be bored, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, Cassidy is really saying some... Stop it. Get some water. Get some water. Listen, you may... Hold on. Listen, you made the worst decision in your life. This shit is light. You getting 30, like, prescriptions niggas right. My diamonds dance different in the light. I like my links like my drinks on the rocks. It's different with the ice. My car be cutting off when I'm sitting at the light. So I'm tired of all the bars about my car collision, niggas, right? 
My dickhead might have a head-on collision with your wife. I might tap from the back like a submission in a fight. I punch with precision, make smart decisions when I fight. But shoot with precision, I can hit a pigeon that's in flight. Right. You ever beat a nigga half to death? Stop to watch the nigga gas for breath? Then start to beat the other half that's left? Yo, yo, cast the best. My shit extra cold. But you would never blow, it's not happening. Even if you had a messy nose. Watch who you wildin' out with, bitch. Respect is old. Plus I fucked the wildin' out chick the first episode. <laughs> So I ain't gotta play no extra role Cause I done won over a thousand battles With over a million records sold Platinum, but see the necklace on my neck is gold VBS is froze, a bitch a hug me and catch a cold Damn Yo, my bro locked in the pen And don't expect parole But told me to bar you to death So God bless your soul Bars Let's go, Appreciate it. Alright, that's both of their round twos. They got one more left. Now, based off of both of their round twos, Cassidy again, I'm just gonna have to give it to him. Like, Hitman round two was average. Like, he didn't see, like, nothing stood out in his round two. Like, Cassidy is really just punching him to death, just punchline after punchline after punchline. And this crowd is trash. Like, I'm not even listening to their reaction. You can't go off their reaction at all. They they was booing Hitman. They was booing some of the stuff Cass was saying. They just booing just, I don't think they get what they even talking about anyway, but I don't know. First two rounds, the first round was, you know, was kind of, both of them had, you know, good first round. I feel like Cass edged them a little bit second round was undeniably cast like hitman was just average at best like nothing stood out now they got one more see how round three gonna go let's see if they bring their best she lied i'm gonna tell the truth god is my witness this is the first time i ever told this story but this match been in the making even way before us when I was 16, I won a battle rap tournament in St. Louis. The winner got to chop it up with Cassidy on a tour bus. I know you looking like 16. I've been grinding for a long time. That's why I was destined for me to win. I won an autograph hoodie, CD, free studio time, a whole bunch of other shit that I was far from being interested in. But to make a long story short, I spit a verse for Cass. I remember them days. You said some shit like, damn, my old is he? As you was making that hit killing them face. He said, damn me, that young talking that heavy, wow. When young boy get old, I might have to smoke him. I said, man, all oh, that shit sound good, but I'm ready now. You remember? Don't. I said, all oh, that shit sound good, but I'm ready now. All the adults laugh like I was joking. They escorted me out. I shook hands with them, and that was the first day I ever met Cass. So it took 16 years, two rounds later, for you to realize what I told you when I was 16. I was dead ass. What the, yo, what Vegas got me favored to win by? It don't matter, I'ma cover the spread fast. You had a 16 year head start and I hawked you down? Boy, I'm feeling like DK Metcalf. Do you believe? You had a 16, you had a 16 year head start and I hawked you down? Boy, I'm feeling like DK Metcalf. Come on, Ready? Y'all told me I couldn't talk that name on name shit to Cass. Man, y'all stay tripping. Cause if we being honest, I'm in a different class on the scale of things. We way different. Yeah, he had some early 2000 mainstream success, but that don't mean shit to me. I've been on TV every single day for damn near a decade. You see how I channel a different kind of energy. Watch this. 
I get big boy checks now. So money, you really want to discuss this, please? We the Avengers with my green on Hawk status. News flash, I made 150,000 in just this league. <laughs> Fifty thousand in Justice League. The Justice League. I like how he did the play on words. But he mixed Marvel and DC together too. Like he went from the Hawk to Flash to the Justice League. So you know, Hitman. He might not really be too into it. So that's probably why he, you know, mixed them up like that. But he did mix two different, you know, comic universes together. But it's all good though. I caught it. My green on Hawk status, newsflash, I made 150,000 in just this league. You know why? Cause I'm what's in now. I'm the guy in demand. I don't even need a pistol for Cassidy. I swear to God I wouldn't lie to my fans. Cause trust me, the hustler, a easy problem. And I can always count on my hands. If I was you, yeah, yeah. Say like this. See now he, you know, he, he back in his bag. Like that was a hard line. You know, the hustler easy problem. I can always count on my hands. Basically, you know, if you get an easy math problem, you can use your hands to, you know, solve it. So that's a play on, you know, mathematics fighting. I like it. That was hard. The hustler. A easy problem, and I can always count on my hands. If I was you, I'd tell him to quit. I get the wave and a stick round like I'm trying to cast a spell in this bitch. Man, I can look you in your eyes and tell him he bitch. Bullets go in and out so quick, he couldn't tell he was hit. Thought he was cool, tried to walk, and then fell in this bitch. The doctor let me go. I can look him in his eyes and tell him he bitch. Bullets go in and out so quick he couldn't tell he was it. Thought he was cool, tried to walk and did sell him. The doctor like one, two, three, oh my God, it's 30 shells in this. I got great aim. I always hit my target. So you better duck and scram. Two Ninas and to whoever think a nine or miss, don't know who the fuck I am. Listen, listen, yeah. Yeah. I say I got great aim. I always hit my target. So you better duck and scram. Two Ninas and to whoever think a nine a miss don't know who the fuck I boy you was talking crazy at that face off in the back of my mind I was like I hope he fight I told that nigga lawyer tone watch what you say or I'ma let it sing I turned the face off the karaoke night listen now nowadays I can Nowadays, I can lay out cheddar. I love having the eyes stacked against me because the payout better. You got more street credibility than who? Boy, you was high. You had to be. Because I watched Gilly walk in your hood with a camera, and every nigga standing outside gave him way more respect than they do for Cassidy. Hey, I, I, I just... I just knew that, I just knew they was gonna press Gilly. Like, fuck out of here, you better run that. Man, they walked up, shook his hand, took his camera, and told Cassidy, bitch, that you better not come back. I say, I say, I say, I say, oh no, Cass ain't letting that slide. He about to ride. I was 15, 16, you know, still idolizing. The next day he got on YouTube. I said, oh, shit. Anytime now, Cash just start apologizing. <laughs> These are facts. These are facts. These are facts. 
So when did you become this street legend? You went to the smartest school in Philadelphia. Now I'm not downplaying them that it's book straight, but AR Al put his freedom on the line for your bitch ass and you couldn't even make sure the nigga book straight. <laughs> Your facts. Yo, man, I told y'all I wasn't bringing my brother. Well, he lied, did They ain't search me, me neither. I got this line here. Hold on. Come on. Come I told y'all I wasn't bringing my brother. Well, he lied, did They ain't search me, me neither. Hands really think that he bought it. Go outside, D. I got the tray. I make him sit down. Fucking yeah. 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 Uh, they doing all this extra stuff for no reason, but homeboy in the hoodie right here, this guy right here, he look like he about to throw Hitman little brother in the crowd. <laughs> Why they do all the extra stuff, man? Search me. Me neither. I got this nine in. Cash really think that he bought it. Outside, I got the tray. I make him sit down. Fuck it. Let's dine in. See, they laughed at me, but they ain't understand that I passed them with stealth. They laugh at my passion and my emotion, but all oh, that shit equal wealth. You want to know why Nick Cannon don't come to my balance, nigga? Bitch, nigga, you can ask him yourself. <laughs> kind of funny after all this commotion they had Nick Cannon hiding in the background somewhere he just come randomly popped up you know he dapping Cash up hugging Cash 
This nigga got dick running out on stage with the mask on and all that. I see you. But bitch, why you dissing in them? Yeah, that nigga white, but that nigga nice. I thought your diss was going to be incredible, but that shit was light. Listen, right? What I'm going to cut you with, not a kitchen knife. I'll crack your egg head when... I... Yo, come on, man. Somebody about to jump down there. It's about to be a fight. Listen, right? I had cream way before caffeine dropped the act. Caffeine, the biggest check a rapper ever got from Smack. Fuck all the gossip rap. I'm cut from a different cloth. Even though this shit in my jeans, I get a lot of sweat. Who else did they think in the ring but got a plaque? What battle rapper be the homicide but not a rat? For every snapple bottle fat, it's a lot of cat. Shots are clapping, spin your head around. You better watch your back. What y'all forgot the fact that I made a lot of hits before? Classic shit with Swiss before. I was the shit before. Daylight tried to shit the floor. <laughs> Your name hit, man, but man, you never wrote a hit before. Mm. Listen, boy, you never did shit but work for Nick before. <laughs> Bring your boss back out. Tell your boss come back out. <laughs> it's 54 cards in a deck. I guess I'm short of you. I bought a new smithing out. The clip be sticking out like Florida do. I'm a Philly nigga, but got hitters in Georgia too. They'll find out where you living in Georgia and start extorting you. You said I get paid way more than you. But to the face off, you wore some Jagans and some Jumpman Jordan too. <laughs> Bitch, your outfit was more affordable. My shirt was worth like 600, but his was thrift storable. <laughs> I've been this ill, and I don't need Benadryl, it's uncurable. I did while and out in 05 before they toured with you. You never caught a body that somebody reported you. You got caught and had to bring some lawyers in the court with you. When you was on the ball court, letting niggas score on you, I was caught up in the street, been in the war or two. And you don't want your niggas mourning you at a memorial, you I'm warning you. I'm the wrong dude to challenge. Why would a hitman holler? They move in silence. I'm used to violence. Why would a hitman holler? They move in silence. That's a KO right there, man. That's a KO right there. With a hitman holler, they move in silence, I'm used to violence. I got a gun big enough to shoot it and lose my balance. Jag of blood, if he blasts a slug, you will lose a gallon. Blood and knock your head off. Cold word, Red Cross. Cause I heard you blood too and when two reds cross. It get bloody, so don't cross that line that old Red Cross. Cause old Red lost to my man Claire. I do got stage performance. On stage I perform like every damn where. In jail, a month feel like a damn year. When you facing life, I might get electrocuted in a damn chair. I bet you wish you had some damn hair. 
I hear drums, but it beat you to death like a man that can't hear. I hear drums, but it beat you to death like a man that can't hear. You can't stare in the eyes of a nigga realer than you when you know that nigga kill you and ain't no killer in you. I'm in the dealing drugs, ain't no drug dealer in you. I remember one time I seen this nigga Michael Jackson lean on him. Well, you can't come back to life like Thriller, can you? Because you could clearly get shots like you got some tequila in you. I will offend you and hurt your feelings, it's mandatory. Since the camera's on me, my shorty snuck in the hammers for me. I did drink champs with Nori, just to remind you. On the mic, I black sun and then getting in drama. Shit lit, my outfit is designer. If you rich, chicks will let you hit. But if you broke, you won't get the vagina. Because they giving balls that ball head. Ball, if a ball head hits your ball head, that's a triple entendre. <laughs> When I'm dripping the llama For small bread, I could get you body It's a million ways to die But I'll get you hit with a pistol probably I got some issues probably I squeeze you, lose your life I move the white And my bitch cook keys like Lucius' wife You the type to get super hyped To get some views and likes You full of shit Clog sewage pipe, I got you super tight Like the thick chick in some spandex When you was playing ball making hand checks I was getting hand checks. You bout to get dirty like a Xanax. Pussy, you getting beat, and the people could see it like OnlyFans sex. Your damn ex was in my DM like Dark Man X. Prayers go up to my nigga DMX. And then she texts, I left Hitman to let you hit, man. So what's the plan next? You got some hands left? Man, bet what's in your pockets then. I'm stopping in the club, it's going down, they on my jock again. I'm on top again, it's the real world. Not pretend I'm thorough. Put a pistol whip you, Gerald, into the chopper bin. I'm not your friend. Ain't hey, can you take a punch, do you got a chin? I'm not your friend. Ain't hey, can you take a punch, do you got a chin? I got a pin and I could go off the top, so I got the win. And I'm trying to kill whoever feel they better. Hitman, the fans who feel you lost the bill collector like, not again! Yo, my bro locked in the pen, he don't expect parole, but told me to bar you to death, so God bless your soul. Bars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all, that was a long battle. Definitely, definitely was a good one. Cassidy definitely won this one. Easily, too. Like, like, all right. All bias aside, whether you like Cass, whether you like Hitman, round for round. Round one. Hitman came out aggressive. I think that was his most, you know, his most slickest round. You know, he had the, you know, the, the energy, the crowd, the aggression. He came in, you know, like he was hungry. Like he, he couldn't wait to do this battle. He was mad. He just couldn't wait to get it popping. And then Cass came in and just punched his head off in that first round. So Hitman came with a good first round. I think Cassidy came with a great first round. Second round, Hitman, average. You know, I'm not gonna say it was bad. This crowd was this crowd was horrible. They really couldn't catch, you know, most of the stuff they were saying. So I don't think Hitman's second round was bad, but I think it was just average. It was really nothing quotable in there, nothing, literally didn't say nothing. You know, Cass second round was his most lightest round as well. But I feel like he had more content, more, bars more punches more haymakers you know it was like hitman had a bunch of small jazz and 
you know, Cass had a lot of small jabs in that second round, but a couple uppercuts, haymakers, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm still here. You know, wasn't as strong as the first, but the second one, he took it a little, you know, he just added, he edged Hitman in that one. Hitman was average. I, I would say Cassidy was like, okay, decent, decent second round. Third round, you know, I think Hitman picked it back up, got his energy, his, you know, he got back in his bag a little bit. It was a decent third round. But I feel like Cassidy just, I don't know, he just, to me, he said more. Like, he just had more content all around, every round. He His content was just more than Hitman's. He was saying a lot more punches. And me, I'm into, you know, lyricists anyway. So I pay attention to the schemes, the bars, the wordplay, like. So I'm going to go Cassidy won every round, in my opinion. You know, everybody got their own opinion, but just listening to from what I'm seeing and hearing, you know, I think Cassidy, you know, won every round. And that ain't no knock on Hitman. Hitman's still one of the best battle rappers. You know, he one of my favorites. I just think in this battle, I just felt like Cassidy had the edge on him. I feel like Cassidy had a whole lot more to prove than Hitman. Like, Hitman is already solidified. I feel like Cassidy still got to win those fans who don't think he can do it. Even though... You know, the ones like me know Cassidy can do it. He just, he ain't prepped and been in that type of, you know, field the way they do it as long as they've been doing it. You know, he do songs, tours, and a bunch of other stuff. So he ain't as into it the same way they are. But he still can do it. Like, he has the skill level to do it. And I feel like if we just keep practicing and just keep battling, like, often, I feel like Cassidy can be a problem. Like, Cassidy got the... The name, he got the popularity, he got the 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 aggression, the he got everything, he got the entire character, the entire energy. All he gotta do is, you know, manifest that his skill, cause he do got the skill and the talent, manifest that into, you know, non-beat performances. Because I feel like people were so worried about him being animated, jumping up and down and saying a bunch of fake stuff all day. And that ain't how you win battles in my book. Like, you have to still be saying some stuff. I don't care if you had a gun the size of the moon. Like, that don't that don't work with me. So, I'm going to have to give it to Cassidy. You know, three zip. You know, it wasn't like a, a super, like, body bag. A lot of people think three zip mean he just killed him. Like, he ain't just, like, completely kill Hitman. But every round, round for round... Cassidy's rounds was a lot better than than Hitman rounds, in my opinion. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I'm going to try to put out some more content. If you want to follow me on any of my social media accounts, they are right there. You know, it's your boy, Cool Kid. We about to get back on that grind. And until the next video, I'll holler at y'all later. We out of here.